I'm generally not a fan of European portraits in lace. They look so stuffy. The only man I want to look at in lace is his purple harness. Just looking at lace clothes makes me feel itchy. And then I came across Marge Lynn's I Made It. I admit when I first saw it hanging in a wall exhibit, I didn't give it much attention until I saw a woman pointing something to her companion. I followed her stretched arm and saw the most unlikely figure resting on a Renaissance shoulder. All of a sudden, the lace painting looked fun and mischievous, like the embodiment of Betty Boop. Funny how something so tiny can take over. But what do Betty Boop and Renaissance ladies have in common? I think it would be easier to answer how the two are different. As clothed or balut na balut the Renaissance woman is, Betty is showing a lot of skin. The Renaissance woman has curls in her lace, while Betty's curls are found in her hair. And although we can see the face of the Renaissance woman, we can almost expect to see her looking so stoic in complete contrast to Betty's flirtatious wink. Lim, the artist, calls her geek art I made it. Immediately, I thought of her pride in making the painting, giving homage to Cornelius Janssen van Kjolen. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But the title alone can also be our Renaissance woman is so proud to shout referring to her uh, position of wealth and power. Betty Boop can also be proud to announce that she made it, freeing women from stuffiness. But we should not approach elements in a single painting as though they have nothing to do with each other. Betty Boop and the Renaissance woman must be taken together as one. Perching Betty Boop on the shoulder reminds me of those cartoons with an angel and a devil on both shoulders helping someone feeling stumped and helpless in making a decision. Perhaps Betty Boop is both the angel and the devil in convincing our Renaissance woman to do something. But what? We don't know, and we may never know. But Betty, the naughty woman that she is, gives us a hint with her wink and leg raised. A little mystery in a woman and in a painting is essential. Art is essential.